In this video, we are going to look at how a PPP protocol works, which is point to point protocol. PPP protocol is actually a data link layer protocol. So it functions at the data link layer and it is used to establish connection over the last mile of a coaxial cable or a telephone line. Now the point to remember here is that a coaxial ca cable will have a different set of protocols whereas the normal internet connection will have a different set of protocols. Also telephone lines are using uh, circuit switching whereas the internet uses packet switching which we have already discussed in a previous video. So now this protocol the PPP point to point protocol what it does is it has to have an equilibrium between the packet switching and the data switching. So now how it happens? It happens through these three definitions. The first is a framing method. PPP gives a framing method so that start of the frame and the end of the frame has to happen. Link control protocol LCP. What LCP does is LCP is responsible for establishing the connection over that telephone line. As you can remember in circuit switching it functions very different to a packet switching. In circuit switching the whole line has to be clear before any transmission of data can take place. So that is taken care of by the link control protocol or the LCP. The next is network control protocol NCP. What does network control protocol do? Network control protocol takes care of all the network layer protocols that are being used over the internet. As I told you just now that the transmission that is being received is from packet switched networks that has to be sent over the circuit switch networks. So what the NCP essentially does is NCP will amalgamate all the information from the different layers of protocols that are being used. For example, a TCP IP model will use an internet protocol over the network layer. Some other layer could be using some other different. The NCP will ensure that the data that is according to the IP protocol will move smoothly over the telephone line. So the PPP protocol essentially ensures that users can have internet connection over their telephone lines. So in this video we have seen how a PPP protocol works. In the last few videos we have covered the different protocols that are being used by networks. These networks are always cable connections. In our next video, we are going to cover mobile communication protocols.